poetry regularly often, and um, I, there are a lot of things I don't talk about, so this is about that. <clears throat> my job consists of making the bone in my skull as transparent as glass. See, my passion is the process of gently removing my heart from my sleeve and cauterizing uh, from uh, my heart from my chest and cauterizing it to my sleeve. I take a surgeon's role and transplant a soul because picked apart is when I'm whole, but I'm a hypocrite. See, I'm a hypocrite because despite best intentions and verbal intervention, there are parts of me I choose not to mention. Those who know my tall tales, who were lost in the tall trees with me, who see just how much of me I give can attest that I only show my very best and I can't tell every story. See, I'm not strong enough to rip off the mask I've fused to my jaw, and like I said and like you saw, I'm a surgeon. But sometimes it's plastic. And though it's a few leagues less than fantastic, here's a list of the stories you've missed, my coming out with what we don't talk about. Don't ask me about anxiety. You better detour depression and skip the suicide song. Don't ask me about the females frequenting my lackluster blockbuster poems. Don't talk to me about Leia and Michaela. Don't mention Megan and Emily. And Julie's a heartache that my cardio can't take. So I break away from those who stay, and I whitewashed that story about Josh. See, somewhere between posh and grime sits the bastard's pantomime. Don't talk to me about time. Because that's where I'll draw the line. Because we're all dying and nobody acts like it. This list I spit of the shit, this list I spit of this that splits my mind is a confessed crime that I've professed in my prime. See, today I felt like I was running out of time. And that's when I penned the first line. Anyway, guess where everybody. Here we go, boy. <laughs>